they started calling it as a different type heterotype or different type of division so meiosis first is divisible into steps now there are large number of steps in the prophase itself so let's understand the, uh, remember mitosis has steps prophase metaphase anaphase and followed by telophase this is karyokinesis so in meiosis first also karyokinesis will have prophase first metaphase first anaphase first and then telophase first but prophase first is quite elaborate so now let's understand the prophase first is divisible into 1 2 3 4 5 five substages the first stage is called as leptotene some books will mention it as leptonema so nema means thread and teen means ribbon so it's the same thing whether you call it as leptonema or लेप्टोनीम और वेदर यू कॉल जाइगोनीमा और जाइगोटीन और वेदर यू से पैकीनीमा और पैकीटीन और डिप्लोटीन और डिप्लोनीमा दे ऑल मीन सिमिलर सो वट हैपन्स इन लेप्टो लेप्टो वर्ड इज यूज फॉर थिन सो वेन दी थ्रेड इन द लेप्टोटीन स्टेज बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द प्रोफेस फर्स्ट सो द जेनेटिक मटीरियल अपीयर्स लाइक थिन थ्रेड्स एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज लेप्टोटीन थिन थ्रेड्स एंड अनदर थिंग करेक्टरिस्टिक टू द एनिमल सेल that uh, the all the genetic material will undergo congression or you can say convergence they converge their one end towards the pair of the centriole that's why it looks like a bouquet of flowers or bouquet arrangement that's why it is called as the bouquet stage so leptotene has a first main property of leptotene stages it is the first sub stage of prophase first during which the nuclear membrane will remain as such you can see in the picture nuclear membrane remain as such a uh, pair of centrosomes uh, will start start now moving slightly away from each other nucleolus is still there and you can see all the genetic material appears like thin thread and they appear to look like a bouquet that's why thin thread and bouquet stage now what happened during zygote you can see the same picture here also this is the cytoplasm this is the nucleus nucleolus and lots of threads are there and they all arrange in a characteristic manner which is called as bouquet shape now what happened in the uh, sorry what happened this is the bouquet shape you can see it is close to this side now what happened during the zygote during zygote uh, zygo means uh, pairing or coupling or coming close to each other so now during zygote pairs of homologous chromosomes will come close to each other now what is this homologous chromosome we all know that uh, eggs and sperms contribute equal number of chromosome so if there are 23 chromosomes coming from the egg side then there are 23 chromosomes coming from the sperm side so that mean the first chromosome of the egg will have something similar in the first chromosome of the sperm that mean they all are similar to each other so that mean the information present on these chromosomes are similar so that's why they are called as homologous chromosome just like i can say the sex chromosome coming from the egg is for example a sex chromosome coming from the egg is x and in the case of the sperm it can be either x or y so what is the homologous chromosome of the uh, sex chromosome either xx or otherwise x y so same manner all 23 chromosomes have their pair because one one of the 23 pairs one of one out of these 23 are coming from sperm and the other 23 are coming from the egg so all these pairs of homologous chromosomes will come close now total number of chromosome in human case is 46 now if i say that they are making pairs then how many pairs will be there 46 divided by Two will be how much? Twenty-three. So twenty-three pairs of homologous chromosomes will be there. Twenty-three pairs of homologous chromosomes will be there. Now this formation of homologous chromosome or coming close of these homologous chromosome is called as synapsis, also called as synapsis. So synapsis will take place. Now sometimes synapsis starts from the centromere side or it starts randomly. It may start from the term. terminal end it may start from in between so accordingly various types of synapses are possible if it starts from the centrio centromere if it starts from the terminal side it starts from in between it starts can can start from anywhere so accordingly procentric 
pro terminal random and the intermediate so finally what will happen pair of chromosomes will come close now try to understand imagine this is one chromosome after s phase doubling of the dna so it becomes now one chromosome but double amount of dna when two homologous chromosomes come close they will join lengthwise in this manner so this type of attachment is called a synapsis and this attachment lateral this side arrangement or attachment happens because of a protein complex called as synaptonemal complex so this complex helps in synapsis of the homologous pair of chromosomes now finally leptotein is done zygotein co homologous chromosomes have come close and attached lengthwise so they will attach with each other lengthwise now what happen next is pachytene what is pachytene khaki word is used for thick like for example pachyderm elephant is generally called in literature english and all as pachyderm derm means skin pachy means thick so pachytene means when the chromosomes start becoming quite thick so now they are very much thick and the main property of pachytene is they will start crossing over now what is crossing over understand again the same thing these two chromosome this this is one chromosome this is one chromatid sister two sister chromatids two sister chromatids when sister when uh, two chromosomes homologous chromosomes come close they will exchange their portions by crossing over remember crossing over never occur between sister chromatids it always occur between non sister chromatids so chromosomes are going to exchange their genetic material like this with the process called as crossing over same thing